50 years ago tomorrow, NASA faced one of its darkest days and an enormous setback in the race to the moon when the Apollo 1 spacecraft caught fire on the launch pad and killed its crew. This was a national tragedy. Two of these astronauts were genuine space heroes. Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Ed White had captured the nation's imagination a year and a half previously with his iconic Gemini mission spacewalk. And then, of course, there was Virgil Gus Grissom, the second American to ever go into space, and he had his heart set on one day being the first man on the moon. Well, that wasn't going to happen. This early version of the Apollo space capsule was loaded with problems, and this launch pad test had not been going well. In the middle of a host of other glitches, some exposed wiring underneath Grissom's seat caused a spark, which in a capsule full of pure oxygen blew into flames. The problem was this was also an early version of the command module hatch. It was complicated, very slow to open under the best of circumstances, and as internal cabin pressure mounted, it jammed that hatch in place while toxic smoke killed Grissom, White, and Roger Chaffee within seconds. Now there'd be lessons learned here, of course, and within a few years, a sadder, wiser NASA would indeed put men on the moon, but by that point, the crew of Apollo 1 would already be what they are today, a memory.